Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account and we have finally done it again. This is the second season in a row, guys. Looking at the Abyssal Expedition, that is right, the boss is dead. And look at this reset timer. It's kind of crazy to see, but that is right. It is uh, 1,378 hours for the resurrection. We did kill the boss for our fifth and final time. Looking at the leaderboard with Adventure Run, that is right, we are in 17th. So we did pretty good. We wanted, we were shooting for the top 20. We made it into the top 20, which is awesome. Then of course, we finally got promoted to boom. There's the rewards for Prince. Now we were waiting to do this. A lot of players made it to Prince before we killed the boss. Now we were waiting to actually stockpile a lot of the resources and making sure that we actually had enough stamina to take down the boss that final time before we actually went finished up all of the farming and got done with this boss and done with the Abyssal Expedition in its entirety, guys. That is completely done. Now, of course, we know with the patch notes that are coming up and all of the breaking news that is going on that we are going to have the ability to actually farm up and get our final copy of Eugene. We talked about this yesterday in the video, but the final copy of Eugene is gonna be available now. As of right now, we were building Kelthin, so we were actually building out and farming out uh, more copies of Kelthin. At this point, we are gonna have to pause the ability to build out Kelthin, um, just for the simple fact that we know the Awakened version of Eugene is coming. Now, overall, when it comes to the Abyssal Expedition that we just finished, Eugene was actually one of the best in slot comps that we were running in there, which did work incredibly well with this hero itself. Now, of course, the higher that you had him built, the better he performed. But overall, even being just at Mythic Plus, he did work incredibly well in the Abyssal Expedition. And if you weren't using him, you might have missed him. Now, of course, we do have the ability within the rickety cart to continue replacing heroes. And this is how, as of right now, that I'm going to continue building out Kelton. Um, even though we're not using any of our Stargazer Scrolls in there, we're not using any of our diamonds. Because again, those are solely res reserved um, for Eugene, who is coming pretty quick. So there we go. So we got another copy. And again, we just keep recycling him. So even looking at Kelton in his entirety, the last two copies that we received from him, boom, it takes it to Elite Plus. But those last two copies were actually from the exchanges. So as we continue in AFK Arena, once we get Wukong all maxed out, once we get Flora maxed out, um, we've been able to swap the additional copies in there to actually build them out a considerable amount. Now we also know that we have the hero swap. So this is kind of interesting. Right now with the hero swap, I know it ends in 45 days, is a lot of players are going in here and they are actually swapping a hero like Wukong or Flora. So even looking at Wukong right here and thinking, okay, this is the hero we're gonna swap. Who are we swapping it with? One of the heroes that are not built at all. So again, thinking about this, thinking like PVP wise or thinking about the ability to actually continue to level up that resonating crystal or even thinking of a hero that I have built um, that we could actually swap just to give five stars to could be a possibility. And again, this is what quite a few here or players have been doing. Now, even though I don't have the engraving in Wukong, which I really wouldn't recommend it without the engraving being on there, is if I swapped, for instance, right here for a Tarnos, we would have a elite plus Tarnos essentially built up all the way to five stars, meaning he was completely maxed out if we continued to use him within PvP. Now we know Mizoth looking in here, even Titus the tank, um, looking at a couple other ones, we don't use them at all. So I don't know if it is gonna be, and I, I think honestly, it's probably gonna be more beneficial to actually sit on this five-star copy of Wukong. That way we can actually go through and do the swaps that we have been doing for Kelthin overall versus swapping to another hero. Now, again, I know a lot of players have also said that we don't, or we're not gonna have the ability to actually go in here and you know build out a couple different heroes just for the simple fact of the resonating crystal. Now, looking at where we're at right now, I feel like there's really not gonna be a, a point in time um, where I'm close enough or where I'm capped with the resonating crystal because of course, every new hero that comes out, we gain another five possible levels to the resonating crystal. And as you can see right here, we are still chasing the resonating crystal forever. And we have been for a considerable amount of time and we're gonna do exactly that. We are gonna continue just chasing the resonating crystal. Now looking here over the events we just got with the Abyssal Expedition and everything else, we do have 61 of our Stargazer Scrolls, which is gonna be awesome for building out. And of course, we're gonna get that free copy um, of Eugene, but we'll have the ability to add on and do summons in here with that, getting him to one star. 
Then of course, he is gonna be available in here in the shop or, or in the um, Temple of Time. I don't advise getting him in the Temple of Time just because you can still get copies out of a bunch of different places, including the Guild Store. But overall, if you haven't built them, if you haven't been keeping up with the copies, it might be beneficial to get it. Now, of course, when he is at five stars, so by the time that we get him out of um, the Guild Store and he is actually maxed up to five stars, once he does hit that five star rating, he is no longer be going to be available for purchase. So it's actually going to be swapped out of there and you're not gonna be able to get him anymore from, um, from the Guild Store once you do get him up to that five stars. Now, of course, I'm sure that is gonna be the exact same like when it comes to our Temple Rift. When it comes to everything else, I'm assuming that when you do get them to five stars, he might swap out, but overall these didn't swap out. And again, this was kind of a question I had is these didn't swap out because we have a five-star Brutus right here. Um, they didn't swap out. So I don't think they are gonna swap out here. What, what that means is you can go in here and you can get copies. You can do the exchange if you haven't built that five stars and you can do the exchange for other Awakened Heroes just like we did um, for Kelthin right here is you can actually go in here, pick up some of those Awakened Heroes that we have even down here looking at Shimira. And then of course we can swap for a couple copies um, of Awakened Heroes that we're farming out of the Rift versus getting the cards, which again, I don't know if it's really beneficial because of course going in the Rift, you can get a lot of our time emblems out of there. So again, don't know if that is really super beneficial. Now the other thing was the patch notes came up incredibly early. We know normally it is on that Tuesday rotation for the patch notes, but I think it might be a little bit, um, a little bit different of when they're coming up. Now, even now, it shows in here that it is on 4-9, and we know right now is 4-4. Is four, four. So receiving the email gift, which of course is going to be log in to claim Eugene. So you're gonna have the ability to get that copy of Eugene. So the patch notes again in here are gonna be up pretty soon, meaning that you're gonna have the ability to go through and run everything that we're offering in here. Lost Spire is up, of course, the Circus Tour is up. Magician's Hat is up. There is so much to do in AFK Arena, and we really haven't gotten into the heavy core stuff when it comes to that fifth anniversary, which again is going to be pretty interesting to see. The Lost Spire, we've been kind of grinding this out quite a bit. We're already on floor 23. This only goes to 25, and then it's done. So what I've actually done here is I went through the runes. Um, I bought out a couple of the Bag of Profit, and of course, right here, reduced the amount of tokens spent by 10% built out some of those and you can see a majority of these are kind of getting built out at this point, even having quite a bit of the spire left. And then of course we get some resources out of there, boom, there are some diamonds. And then of course the boss damage itself once we do get to the point. But of course the ones that I'm running in here is our Liberta and Lucila team. So we've been again, kind of just building them out little by little, focusing now in on the runes that we can get just a little bit higher. And even again, maxing these out does make it pretty easy. All the heroes that I'm building in here, I believe at this point, I do have them completely maxed out in their entirety. Well, we do have, oh, that's going to the, the 80 engraving, which I'm not too worried about that. Here we could build it up probably a little bit more going to the 30, might be beneficial. Now, of course, when you're going through here and you're using your torches, if you go through and you're using your torches, and of course, um, if you don't and you cannot complete a floor, you can actually go back one floor, farm that one out. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of resources at this point. So even if I come in here and I sweep one or two of these, um, we can actually have the ability to go through and build everything else that we do need in here to essentially just max it out. Now, of course, reduce the amount spent, increases the spire tokens earned by floors. That was the one that I had actually been building out quite a bit just to increase what we were getting out of there in a bunch of different places. But of course, going in here and building out these heroes just a little bit further is gonna make it a lot easier just progression-wise to go through. And again, I think they're pretty much maxed out across the board, which we can max, max. And once you get to this point, again, regardless of your team, you can actually overpower a lot that you have in here. I've done it on the free-to-play account. We've done it on a bunch of different accounts but you can actually go through and just kind of max out all of your heroes. You could even do some swap heroes in here if you wanted to. Then of course, formations in here do make a little bit of a difference. So we're kind of going back, even looking at Demia or looking at Liberta in here. Again, looking at the power deficiency, it's kind of crazy. But overall, I mean, I'm not gonna get much of a stronger team than what we have in here. 
But again, having the ability to actually swap some of these heroes out, getting through this game mode based on the builds. And as you can see, it's kind of a grind. Even if we lose in this game mode, we can reset it. We can do it again and again, just farming out all of these floors. Then of course, a lot of players have really stated that the boss is just an absolute nightmare to try to deal with, which we know is the case. We, we know the boss. And again, that's the boss last time we were here was the exact same. Kind of a nightmare to get through, but I feel like we're doing pretty good in here with the heroes we have built. Again, having all of those runes built out <clears throat> in their entirety did make a really big difference in this game mode. And there we go, clear 24 and then challenge attempt. And I believe we can just challenge this for ranking. I don't think there's anything else, um, anything else behind it that is very difficult to kind of deal with. So again, we can kind of swap in here, see what we can do. We have the SP effect, which of course is really, really big in here, just based on the heroes. Now let's see what kind of damage we can do. Because essentially if we finish the Spire here, just kind of based on damage, which you can also skip the damage, we could swap in some other heroes. We could build out some more support, but there we go. Looking at the damage dealt, um, what's that one, that's billion, 1.6 trillion. So I think that's about there guys, giving us the rest of these rewards. Boom, there we go. So again, this game mode at this point, having all of these claimed and built, pretty easy to get through like a majority of players. And again, it's not a race. We still have, what, eight more days, almost nine more days on this. If you swap in some different heroes, if you build out a few different heroes, pretty easy to get through here just to pick up all the rewards. That way you're done with the game mode in its entirety. Now also make sure that you're picking up, of course, right here, our magical tickets. Make sure you're also doing the event, the circus tour. Have to make sure you're doing this. If you are not doing this, you're gonna have a lot of issues in here because of course you're not gonna be able to finish this. And again, very similar to what we just seen. Um, we can go in here with a bunch of different teams, gonna make it really easy because damage in here doesn't, again, kind of make a really big difference depending on how much you're pushing. And you can see we're at 58 million. So even there, guys, there's what, 741 billion damage. So kind of insane. We just have to do two of these every day. That way we can go through, we can do whatever we need to in the circus tour. And of course, getting some resources out of the circus tour um, really makes a big difference. So this is what we're looking to pick out. So again, a lot of things to do in AFK Arena right now. Got to finish up my Bountiful Trials. Misty Valley just came up. Still got the Babbling Brook, so definitely a lot more stuff to kind of grind in AFK Arena. But a big shout out to Adventure Run, guys, for getting that done. It was awesome to see we came in 17th. We're going to go ahead and get the frame for Season 12. I believe it's Season 12 at this point. So, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.